Hi, today we are doing a usability study on the Electrolux ESL6225. Now let's take a look inside. This is the top basket. It holds cups, utensils and delicate glassware. It also can adjust vertically and we can also lift these compartments to create more room. Now let's take a look at the bottom basket. It is there for heavily soiled dishes, plates, pots and pans. And this is the cutlery drawer, it's also removable. All dishwashers have a water softening compartment. These need to be filled with a special dishwasher salt. This is the filter compartment. It is there for gathering food waste. It should be removed, emptied, washed and replaced frequently. This is the bottom sprayer. It rotates and sprays water vertically at the soil dishes. Underneath the top basket lies the second sprayer arm. It shoots water vertically and horizontally. Also in the middle on the top of the machine is another water spraying nozzle. Now let's take a look inside the dishwasher door. Here we have two compartments. This one here is for detergent. It can take a tablet or powder. The second compartment is for rinse aid. Let's fill the dishwasher with some soiled dishes. So, larger plates to the right. And then smaller plates to the left. Pots and pans should also be placed on the bottom section. Utensils such as Spoons and forks can be stacked in the basket, facing upwards. Knives should be stacked facing downwards, for safety reasons. Finally, the basket slides easily in on its runners. Okay, let's now stack the top shelf. On the top shelf you can place cups in the downward position, here, and then also go here and here. The top shelf will also take some of the more delicate utensils and you can place them here. The wine glasses can be placed on the rack here and if we need some extra height the shelf will drop down and finally just close it off. Now we must add the detergent tablet. Press the button to open the compartment, place the tablet inside, close the compartment until you hear the click. Also check the indicator light for the rinse aid to make sure it's topped up. Again, wait for the click to make sure the compartment is closed. The control panel is located at the top of the dishwasher door. Before we start our wash, we must engage the power button. These are some of the wash programs available on this machine. This is a double rinse wash at 65 degrees, a fast normal wash for a smaller load, 
a single rinse wash at 50 degrees and finally an eco wash at 50 degrees which uses less power. The program we have chosen is the fast wash. Finally we close the door. Your machine is now operational. Don't be alarmed if you don't hear any noise. Washing and drying has to take place throughout the cycle. You will hear a beep when the wash is finished. Once the cycle has finished, allow dishes to rest for 20 minutes. This returns the cutlery inside to room temperature. Okay. Now we can unload our sparkling clean dishes. can be slid out and the utensils can be taken out for reuse. We can also reset the drawer. Now the bottom drawer can be slid out. We can unload the large plate. and pans can be easily removed. The cutlery baskets can be fully removed and brought to the cutlery drawer. Let's talk troubleshooting. Glasses. Glasses are delicate and won't all fit in at the standard height. So we have to lower the shelf vertically to accommodate the wine glass. Also, avoid putting cutlery in when the basket is closed as it can cause collision and damage. Now let's look at the bottom basket. Similar to the top basket, avoid reaching in over cutlery as knives and forks could be protruding and cause damage. Don't allow knives and forks hang below the basket line as they may impede the sprayer. Tall utensils can also impede the sprayer arm. When using dishwasher salt, make sure water softening switch is in the on position. 